Hi, Shelly Hancock here and welcome to my treatment room. This video is about the oxygen infusion treatment. Very simple machine. Uh, there is an on and off button. You press up for on and then down for off. This knob here, um, it's already been preset, so I don't want you to even be touching this knob. Okay, before we start an actual oxygen infusion treatment, let's talk about the air gun itself. Uh, your tubing, we gave you a nice long 10-foot tubing in case you don't have the room right next to your treatment table and you've got to have it somewhere else in your room, you've got plenty of tubing. And because it's such a simple on and off button, you don't need to have it right next to you. Your air gun looks like this. This is where you're going to put your product in. And for your treatment, you're gonna take the cap off. You only need to fill it about to here. You can see where it starts to curve. That's all the product you need for a treatment. Now, when you first start doing this treatment, you're going to overuse product. So I suggest practicing with just water in here instead of your product so you don't waste product, okay? Once you've filled it up, the cap goes back on again. When you have the machine turned on, press down for just air and down and back for air with your product. So down for air alone and down and back for air with product, okay? You're going to sit it in your hand just like this. At first, you're gonna be holding it really tight and your hand is gonna hurt until you just kind of start to feel comfortable with this. When I first got this treatment, when I was trying to learn about Oh, two hours into it, my hand was cramping. I said, ah, take this thing away. I don't want to do this. But now I have to tell you, it's one of my favorite treatments to do. I've got this down really good now. So just comfortable with your hand. Now, this is your infusion tip. You're going to have that on when you're doing the infusion part of the treatment. The first part of the treatment, though, you're going to do exfoliation. And what I want you to do is you're just going to take this very little little tip here on the end off, screw it off, make sure you put it somewhere where you don't lose it. There's a little tiny needle here. It's exposed. You don't want to break that needle. So be really present while you're doing this. Don't be multitasking. Really watch what you're doing. You're next going to put your adapter on. So be very careful, again, not to hit that needle. Screw your adapter on. Whoop. It's really quite easy. Okay, screw your adapter on and then your exfoliating tip screws on the adapter. You've got three tips that come with your air gun, a fine, a medium, and coarse. Um, so just screw on whichever one you want to use on that client. When you finish doing that part of the treatment, I want you to unscrew just the tip. Sometimes you need to hold your fingers on the adapter. Unscrew the tip. This tip goes down in your water bowl until you're able to sanitize it later. I don't want you to just sit it on the counter. Those dead skin cells will dry up inside the diamonds there. So put it down into your water bowl. Then you're gonna unscrew your adapter. Again, being very careful because you've exposed that tip. Grab your little tiny infusion tip and back on there again. Okay, so remember, you wanna make sure you don't misplace this tip. We can get you more, but it is gonna cost you. So uh, make sure to put this in a safe place. Um, that's all you need to know about the air gun at the moment. Let's get started with an actual treatment. I have formulated two products to be used for the oxygen infusion treatment. Now, you can use your own products if you like. We know we all like to play with different things, but I've put some together for you that I really like a lot. I've got my OxyPro Serum, which is your anti-aging and pigmentation product. It has DMAE, Matrixyl 3000, Sephora Flavicins, which is a natural pigmentation ingredient. And at the very end when I was making this, I put a little bit of lactic in and we noticed that the skin brightened right up. So this is a super hydrator and great for pigmentation as well. This is the one you're gonna use the most. I also formulated the Real Balance Serum, which is more for your oily, acneic, large poured skin clients. But this is also the one that you may use when you're doing the first part of the treatment with the exfoliating tip because it's gonna be really great for exfoliating. It's got a little bit of um, salicylic acid in it. Okay, so these are the two products that I like to use. If you're gonna play with your own products, just make sure that they're thin enough, almost toner-like, to go through that little tiny needle at the end, um, at the tip of this. If your product is too thick, you're gonna clog that needle, and then you're gonna be calling me, asking me what to do about it. So uh, a little bit heavier than a toner. 
When you use just a toner, it seems to fly around the client's face a little bit too much, but so something a little bit thicker than a toner. Okay, so those are the two products I like to use. Okay, let's dive into a treatment. The preparation for an oxygen infusion treatment is going to be just like every facial you do, cleanse the client's skin. I like to use an ultrasonic spatula to take the cleanser off. Then you've got a nice deep cleanse. Once you've rinsed the cleanser, I like to use the Derma Disc exfoliating tool to give them a really good exfoliation. You can do an enzyme if you'd like as well. I always like to take my enzymes off with the ultrasonic spatula and then rinse, rinse really well. You want a nice clean palette to start working on. So your first step is going to be the exfoliation. This is where I like to use the Real Balance Serum. You're gonna fill your cup about halfway full with the Real Balance Serum. I have my client turn their head to the side. This is where you're gonna start getting comfortable with the pressing down for air and down and back for air with product. On the exfoliating, I find that if you press down and about halfway back, so not too much product is coming out, is that's what it works best. So I like to hold the neck down. Air gun goes straight up and down. I like to actually place it first, then my thumb's gonna go down and halfway back, and then nice slow movements. You wanna go nice and slow with even just a little teeny bit of pressure because once you've gone over the area once, you won't be able to go back over it again because you've got product on the skin then. So you wanna make sure that each movement that you make is fluid and working the first time so you don't feel like you have to go back over the area again. So you're just going to work your way, you know, over the neck, underneath the jawline. And anytime you feel like you have too much product or you need more product, remember, just start playing with that thumb back and forth, okay? If you feel like you need to hold the skin taunt in between, you can do that. I'm going to put her in her head a little bit more to the side. Same thing here, hold it tight and going up. Just work your way around the face. That's all, pretty simple you guys, that's all there is to it. Okay, now moving on to the second step of the treatment which is using the infusion tip. But before you start that, you may want to maybe do a, a hot towel wrap and lightly rinse or use a cotton round with some toner and rinse the skin because you've got some dead skin cells on there and you wanna kind of clean those off before you start infusing. Okay, so the infusion part of the treatment Again, you're going to fill your cup up about halfway. This time, I like to use my OxyPro Serum. Again, your air gun is always straight up and down. That's why you always wanna make sure you have the cap on your cup here so that your product doesn't come out. Down and back, okay? So here's how I like to start it. Um, I'm going to just saturate half of the face first. So I'm gonna go down and all the way back and I'm just gonna do light little feather movements like this to saturate half of my client's face with products. Okay, don't do this. Don't do this, that's really annoying. Think of feathering, you just wanna do light feathering. You're gonna be about two inches away. Just all we're doing right now is getting product on the skin. And once you've got the, half, the whole half of her face, come back up here again. Now, to infuse it, you're going to get, you're not going to be an inch away or two inches away. You're not going to be actually touching the skin. You're going to be what I call hovering. And you'll, you'll slightly touch the skin because your, your hand shakes, but you're just hovering over the skin and you're making about an inch movements, little small movements. And you're in between the eyebrows, you're going to come up just like this. And you can actually hear a difference when you have it in that sweet spot there'll be a hissing noise. And when you hear that hissing, you know how you have that hover just right. So you're gonna be coming up. And once you've gotten that forehead and you're gonna start down, now you're gonna start down, like with lymphatic drainage. Little small, about inch movements. The slower you go with this treatment, the better. And about that sweet spot with hovering, there is a oxygen bubble uh, that happens when you're right there that when it starts to hiss and that actually makes more pressure so the product actually infuses better. So just start working down little small movements go all the way down the face this way 
Let me show you a little trick about doing the eyelids, which a lot of treatments we can't do the eyelids. Let me turn her face to the side a little bit. Take a cotton round, because you don't want to put your fingers on this nice area that you've already infused. Pull up and get right down in here. First spray with a little bit of product, and then it's upward movements like this. You want to be very careful when you're doing this because you don't want to get product down in your client's eyes, but up and over the eyebrow. This is about the only piece of equipment we have that we can actually do on a client's eyelid, so it's great for those crepey eyelids. And then when you're getting real close to the eye, make sure you shoot this away because wherever you're pointing the tip of your air gun is where the product's coming out at. So if I'm going to get really close to her eye, I'm going to be shooting it away, and then I'm going to right down in there, very close to the eye. And then start working down the face this way. When you get on the lip, the movement is this. I also like to do a little pump right on top of the lip for plumping the lips. Make sure you get down in that nasal labial fold really, really good. Just, just look at your client. Everybody's face is a little bit different. Get creative with this. You're going to do the neck, you're going to do the decollete. I've even done the cuticles on one of my clients and it was really cute because she said the next time she went and had her manicure, her manicurist said to her, what have you done? Your cuticles aren't as dry as they normally are. So, um, as always, I'd say with all my equipment, get creative with how you're going to use this treatment. So once you've finished the infusion, I wouldn't put any mask product on where you're going to take back off again. You've got all that nice, yummy product in there. Go ahead and add some LED on top. If you want to do some microcurrent over the top of that, maybe my Super Enhancer Electroporation machine. But I wouldn't do anything else with product. And then when you finish, a little bit of sunscreen and off they go. That's all there is to it. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to call or email me. I'm here for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again real soon in my treatment room.